All right, uh, time for an update on the snow. We're gonna call this the snow, water, and fire update for 2021. It's April 9th today. Uh, the final numbers are out for from the California Department of Water Resources on the snow. Uh, for a two year stretch, we had the third driest two years ever on recorded data in California. So it's a very low snow year. So statewide on April 1st, and we haven't had any snow since, so it's even less, and it's been warm. Uh, we are at 59%, but it varies. The snows, there's more snow up north than there is down south. The Northern Sierra, as of April 1st, was 66%. Central was 63 and Southern Sierra was at 41%. So March 1st, we were at uh, 61%, so it's gone down, and we haven't had little, we've had very little rain that doesn't mean there's not going to be snow up at the at the uh, passes. So I remember about 10 years ago, me and my daughter Monkey, who's filming this for me, <laughs> say hello to Elaine. Uh, we third week of July, we went up to Ray Lakes over Kersarge Pass, and on the north facing slope, it was kind of hairy. There was a lot of snow. Third week of July. So with this 50 59 percent snow level, I'd say we're about a month earlier so late june we're looking we're looking at it uh, the sierra is going to be like it is in late july so late june you're going to have like late Ju july conditions so you're still going to have that time where the melt's going to start and, and there's a couple of weeks where things are really sloshy and you got to be careful with stream crossing so uh last week of june i think you're probably good you're going to hit snow you might need micro spikes if you go any earlier than the end of june to get over some of those passes, but it's gonna, there's not a lot of snow though. But there's still gonna be those north facing slopes and microclimates. What's funny is there's right around Echo Summit, right now I'm at Ice House Reservoir. We're about 6,000 feet, and you can see the snow behind me. That snow level here is about 7,000 feet. Uh, Echo Summit, right up the hill from me, which is closed right now from a rock slide, they had a little area there. They, have, they had 50 inches of snow on the ground on April 1st, a couple weeks ago. And that's at 6,800 feet. Last year, they only had 16 inches of snow on the ground. And they're at 83% there. So it varies. But the further south you get uh, in the Sierra, the less snow there's going to be. So uh, the rainfall has been even worse down in California. We're at 50% statewide. So it's been a strange year. It's been cold up in the mountains. And it has snowed up at the, at the high places. I've been snowshoeing. And, but we've had to go up higher than usual. Tahoe hasn't had a lot of snow at lake level for most of the last month. So the snow levels are high right now and it's melting out fast. So gonna be a dry year. Uh, the thing about back to back dry years, we had a dry year last year, the ground soaks up a lot of water. So you're gonna have to be way more aware of your water resources. Early, if you're going in June, early July, you're gonna still have some tough stream crossings, but uh, be careful, uh, don't do anything sketchy and go up and downstream. It's better to cross in slow sections and kind of wait across and go in in fast, shallow sections. So be careful out there. There's still that hairy section where everything thaws out, but I think that's gonna be mid to late June where, where that usually happens in the first couple weeks of July. So later on in the year, there's gonna be those little streams that we always rely on. We're so lucky to hike in the Sierra. You don't have to carry a lot of water. Those little streams dry up. I've had years during dry years where I had a year once in the northern Sierra where I thought there'd be water and all the streams were dry and I had to hike like nine miles to get water. So be a little more cautious if you're going in August and beyond. When you see water, tank up and carry a lot of water because these little streams might be dry. So unfortunately, I have to add the fire to this year's uh, report because uh, this dry year, the water's being soaked up more in the foothills, so the trees are going to be drier. Everything's just going to be tinder dry. And I'll post a couple maps here showing last year's fire forecast compared to this year's for, uh, fire forecast. And it's much, much worse this year. I hope I'm wrong, but the chances of fires coming back to at least last year's levels and maybe worse is high. Uh, so you late season hikers, be aware that the views are going to suck. I still went hiking in November at Tuolumne Meadows last year. 
it was still beautiful, but we didn't have the views. And uh, some of the Yosemite was closed for a while. Some of the national parks were closed. Yosemite is only open this year, they're saying, to people with reservations. So you got, uh, later in the year, you got to make sure your logistics are there. You can catch, do your bus connections and uh, get to where you're going. So be aware of that. Let's hope there's not a lot of fires. Uh, have a good season and be careful out there and happy trails. Thanks for watching.